What's up guys, Mr. Bazy here, and today I'm going to bring you a video that essentially addresses how to get better at Halo Part 2, and this is specifically going to be concentrated towards Halo 5 Guardians, because there's gameplay and angles there that you can utilize in-game, but really it can be applied in any Halo, because these tactics, uh, as long as you know how to apply them in that game, whether that be nade spots or angles, just to give you kind of a teaser of what we're going to be talking about today, um, they can all be applied to these other Halos, because they're gen they generally all play the same, so... Um, th this is something I wanted to bring you guys and, and I haven't posted a video in a bit because I had been working on this pretty hard trying to get all the clips because I have tons of clips so I was trying to go through all the clips and find a decent uh, variety of different places that I could get to you or you know get angles to you nade spots and just get my point across so uh, without further ado we're gonna jump right into the video here um, so basically what you're gonna see in the very beginning is gonna be how to play angles and the first couple of clips is gonna be how to play angles with your teammates and this particular one I think you've seen it already I've played with my brother um, and this you can see how I you know I finish the kill first dip out let him shoot the guy and I come back out he doesn't really know because I'm just just chilling here now he comes back out and is able to wound him dip back out so he doesn't die and I push out when I have full shields that's a tactic called baiting and switching and we also implement that right here as well so you're gonna see um, you know how how I I'm able to dip out get my shields back and right here I actually push out because he pushes out so he he's only gonna kill one of us is essentially the mindset we had. And, um, you know, we, we might as well just go ahead and go for the kill. So here, um, I'm. this is a great example of how to play angles when you don't have a teammate. Now, I did have a teammate up here, but he wasn't there initially. So right here, I dipped out, waited. This is a very good spot to play angles because it's just a huge pillar that you can keep encircling. Um, so it's easier if you do have the radar available to you, but if you don't, um, it might be a bit harder. You might have to hit listen for the footsteps, but you can see how we're kind of rolling as a pack right now. So teamwork in, in Halo is extremely, you know, essential, just like it is in, is in any game. But in this game, it's particularly essential because of the fact that um, a, a duo versus a, sing, a singular player will usually always just absolutely destroy that singular player unless you know there's some there's power weapons involved um, and here you're gonna see this is one of the jump spots where we're gonna be moving into jump spots soon but here's like one of those ones that I was telling you about before where you can just jump up the front uh, which I actually use we were setting up for the sniper back in that particular position we were in earlier um, so you know seeing that we had pretty much had that locked down I figured hey you know what we might as I might as well run over there try to you know suppress them put a lot of uh, you know fire on them and stuff like that to try and make make it so that they wouldn't get the sniper as easily or that they might have damage coming off of it. And here you're just going to see a really good angle. We're, we're transitioning into angles now. Uh, you're going to see some really good sniper angles that you can use as a sniper. I was using the hover ability actually right here. And unfortunately I missed this second shot. But um, you can see how that's a very good spot to hold off. You can see pretty much that entire area. You can see all of that other area just from a small set of steps. Um, so, you know, th this first first set is all about angles, really. Um, this, this particular, I think this is the clip where essentially there is, um, you know, a bunch of people in this area right here. And it just, you know, I, I'm able to sit there and, and just basically be an annoyance. Whereas, uh, you know, the, the enemy team, you know, is, is concentrating on other teammates to the left of me, uh, which you'll see here in just a moment. I believe it's coming up, but they're, they're concentrating to teammates on the left side of me and I'm able to actually suppress them in a way that they are actually distracted. I put a lot of shots into them. It's able to stay alive and kind of regroup, come around from another direction. But that, that's really what I wanted to kind of relay here is that ang playing angles is so, so important throughout these. Um, I wanted to cover nade spots as well. I think you might see a nade spot coming up right here in a moment. Um, but I wanted to cover nade spots. It's not something I'm really going to talk about a lot, but there's going to be um, some examples in the video that are going to show you some seriously, seriously good nade spots um, that you should utilize, especially on this map. If you're if you're just starting out, let's see. Oh, uh, yes, that's the nade spot there, but I happened to miss. And you can see where it would have landed, bouncing it off of that top. It would have went right into that guy's face that I actually put a, uh, put a round into because I realized my nade had missed, and instead I put a shot into him because I knew my teammate was going to be pushing him pretty aggressively. So th that's just kind of a you know a, a strategy that I like to use is you want to pre nade as much as you can. I know there's probably a lot of um, a, a lot of, uh, you know, you know, skepticism or, you know, essentially negativity around that particular, you know, way to play the game. But, you know, it really does give you the advantage. And, you know, if, if you talk to anybody in, in highly competitive gameplay or people that take the game seriously and they want to win, um, nades are a huge factor. You want to make sure your nade placement is good. You want to make sure that you're always looking for some creative and, and very useful nade spots. One of the ones that I found the most useful on this particular map uh, was that bank off of that uh, that platform there. If you wanted to get a bit more range, you can bounce it off of the 
the the the, the higher little lip of that particular ledge. Uh, and here you see that jump spot once again. Such a useful jump spot. You know, to be honest, guys, I unless I, I mean, unfortunately I don't really make it, make it work here. But you can see that that, that I really never go. Uh, the other way. I always use that jump or the window jump. So um, this actually, this clip is actually a clip uh, where I'm playing angles really well. I'm, I'm ba and basically the way what I mean by playing angles is you want to make sure that you're shooting at one person and cutting off views from as many of, of the other people. So what you want to do is single out, you know, you know, battles. So you see this guy is shooting at me from the left. I realize that I use the wall to my advantage. Unfortunately, his his really good nades force me to back up here. Um, so I, you know, I peek him for a second just to kind of see where he is. I hold off and now I'm engaging someone on the left hand side, making him dip out. Uh, and then again, I see that kid that just naded me. He's got the sniper. So I'm trying to play very cautiously here using the, the, the height advantage that I have, using the pillars that are right in front of me to really single out my engagements. And, and, and you know, see here, the, the people that are in that doorway to the left, see, I can easily dip behind this ledge. Now I see three of them I'm like, oh geez, I better back up. So that's essentially, um, what what was going through my mind that I need to single out these these people I need to make it so that two or three people aren't shooting me at one time and that's really how you win a lot of gunfights really important stuff that you need to do involves singling out your engagements see here I needed to reload a dip behind the railing rather than letting him see me right away and that actually benefited me I came out with very little damage and was able to actually kill the person so really good thing here and actually right here you might actually see yeah this is the clip where this kid's basically going to come up the stairs and now I know there's another guy to the left so I'm going to try to engage this kid first now I'm extremely weak at the end of this battle I've killed him but in, in just a few moments you'll see that someone's going to start coming now I see the guy up top and I see the guy in the bottom I make my decision to jump up and help my teammate with this guy effectively cutting me off from that other engagement for at least a few seconds um, before he comes through now after this, bat damp this battle I'm really damaged so I know that he's going to be coming through I use the drop down all the way on the right to regain as much shields as I possibly can unfortunately I'm not able to benefit as you saw, I mean, I'm, I'm taken down almost a, well, not immediately, I, I choke a bit. Um, he does have some pretty good dip shots, but as you can see, there's an enemy to the left, rather than jumping down and engaging, and I use the thrust ability right here to actually finish off the kill. So instead of jumping down and engaging that guy, I stayed up on the ledge because I knew that jumping down would open me up to being shot at from that other person. Again, you'll see it happen for a slight moment here where I try to single out that sick snipe kid um, and, and really push off to the left-hand side. And, uh, you know, you can see how I keep dipping out, letting my teammates, you know, damage the person. And right here, I'm going to dip out in just a moment. You see that I'm getting shot at, and I figure, hey, instead of jumping and get trying to get on that platform and revealing it, instead of engaging, let me dip out. Use the, use the game's thrust ability that they've granted you in the game and um, maneuver your way out of that situation so that you can stay alive for your teammates. If you can stay alive at any point in time, guys, and this, this is the clip right here, three people against one. And I'm able to do a lot of damage at the, on these people. Three shots into one of them, one shot into the other one. And I actually loop around while they think I'm still there. And I'm able to help out my teammates. And this is crucial because the first guy was actually killed by my teammates. I helped with the second kid. And then this third kid that was sitting up in that ledge was actually taken out by me. Uh, after you know the, the team had damaged him a significant amount so uh, in this in this next clip you're gonna see uh, basically this is just jump spots we're moving into the section where there's this pretty much mainly jump spots this is one that you can see up on top of uh, pink tower that's very very useful this one's actually a really funny clip I'll probably replay this with the audio because I thought it was pretty pretty hilarious I kind of just did it for shits and gigs and I didn't even know that it was actually gonna work um, and and so I'm probably gonna play, replay that with audio in just a moment here but uh, you can see how that jump using the thrust ability they give you is just an enormous jump right across the top and will actually get you in through a, a, an upper ledge there uh, that you can drop down on enemies and they will really just not expect it. Got him. Got him. Oh my god, I just got in so, so fucking dastardly. Yeah, Did you see down. that? Did you see how dastardly <laughs> I just got in? Where is I it? I sniped him. Tell me, watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk my life just to perform that maneuver again. Yeah. Watch this. Ready? Yeah, remember when I said this kid won't expect this? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Or actually, right here, you're gonna see that nade work really well to the advantage. I think I bounced it off that upper lip. You can see right here, just about to happen in a couple seconds, and there's that upper lip nade. Boom, hits him right there, knocks his shields completely off. The kid obviously wasn't playing, that other kid there, but if he was playing, if there was a kid sitting around that area, you saw the kind of damage it did to him. It just absolutely destroyed his uh, health and everything like that. And uh, the, the end part of this is, is basically just going to be, you know, a, 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 just a clip for you guys to watch. Uh, this is just the window jump I wanted to explain to you guys or show to you guys, and you can see how I'm banking those nades off the wall to try to wound them as much as possible. Um, those are nades that I just figured w would probably work, and they actually do work. They bounce roughly on that ramp, 
So, you know, it's a good idea to try to figure out where the nades can kind of go um, and, and, and try to figure out what's going on with that. Um, but, you know, essentially the, what, what I really wanted to relay in this video is that, you know, you can pretty much win almost all of your engagements, even if you're not the best, you know, uh, precision rifle player. If you play angles the right way, if you put shots into enemies and, you, you know, in, in some instances you really, even if you're a main slayer, you have to be sort of an annoyance or sort of a nuisance or a distraction in some situations for you really to be a playing your role effectively, you know. It's not all about just slaying, killing, or support and objective. You have to, you know, it's kind of like a mind game. It, it really is almost like a mind game and most people that play competitive first-person shooters will probably tell you that there is a you know a significant portion where you're trying to outthink your opponent you're trying to outplay them you're trying to cut off certain places and actually most games it's not even just Halo uh, utilize this you know whether that's Gears of War whether that's Counter-Strike whether the, you know there's a lot of games that utilize the angle theory where you're trying to you know eliminate one enemy from the engagement by really you know using angles and that's something that's really important. It's something I, I think out of everything here is going to help you, you know, uh, really improve your gameplay. Nades, of course, are going to help you, but that's something you have to experiment with you on your own. Um, there were a few that I was able to show you right off the bat right here, some useful ones that I was able to find. But basically, the only way, I, the only reason I found them was because I was, you know, just messing around, tossing random nades and seeing what would work. So, you know, just, you know, tinker around with the game, it's the beta, have fun with it, and just, you know, mess around with some nades. This nade, you know, if they were still there, would have done some serious damage. I banked it, banked the one at a lower portion so that the people at the bottom would take it, and I, and I threw the second one at the top of the stairs in case they tried to evade it, and they would go right into that plasma nade. So, um, that was something that I planned out that I wanted to, you know, show you guys here at the end here. That was one of the big nades that I, I'm, I'm glad I was able to transition into that. Um, but, uh, you know, the, that, that's essentially how you're going to get better at the game. When the game actually does come out, guys, I'll give you more in-depth nade spots. I'll give you map breakdowns is essentially the way I'm going to do it. How you should play this map, angles on this map, nades on this map. And I'll just go map to map and just give you the most possible information to help you improve your game. Um, but that's essentially what I want to talk about, guys. I hope that this helped you. Um, and I know it went a little bit quick. But there was a lot of information here. I really didn't want to make this video too long because it could have easily been a 30-minute video. But so I, I'm, I'm sorry that I went a bit fast. Hopefully you guys were able to, uh, you know, keep along with me. And if not, you can always rewatch the video for some of the tips you found most useful, guys. So um, I hope you you enjoyed it. Please rate the video where you think it deserved. Drop down in the comments whether this helped you, whether you think you're going to utilize some of these things, or whether this was just a pointless video. Because I'd really like to know what you guys think, and I'd like to know if I helped you out. Either way, guys, this has been Mr. Bazy, your favorite sage, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.